Right, folks, I've got a question for you. Right. It's a two-parter, and I'll tell you why I've got to this question. Part one, I've said this before, if you've seen my very early videos, and I don't think many of you will have done, I tell you the first song that got me into music, the first song I heard, that after hearing it two or three times, I thought, oh my God, I love this song. Ended up loving the band and getting into music via that one song. What was the first song that got you into music? But, can you name me the first song that you ever remember hearing? The first song that stands out as being the first song you remember. Now, I'd have been getting on a bit when, when I'd come to my first one. Now, I heard one yesterday. Now, I'll tell you about my, not history, that's the wrong thing. What I listened to on the radio. I think I've told folks before. I only listen to about three or four shows. But I listen to them whenever I can. Now, the first is Sounds of the 70s. I listen to that religiously. If they're in a Moen holiday... I'll um, listen to it on BBC Sounds when I come back. I don't miss one. I've not done for two and a half, three years now. I think it's absolutely sensational. I'll also listen to Desert Island Discs when it's got somebody on there that I really like. And I also listen to Pick of the Pops. But on Pick of the Pops, I only tend to listen to anything that's from the 70s. From 70 all the way to 79. I'll do 80 at push, maybe 81, but it's normally 70 to 79. The law was have that decade on once every fortnight. So once every fortnight, I listened to one hour of Pick of the Pops. Loved it um, when Gamble did it, thought it was absolutely great. Was over the moon when Steve Wright got the gig. Gutted that it never lasted as long as it should have done. Uh, your man Gary Davis was an able deputy, did really, really well and really respectful of Steve. And it's been taken over this weekend by, is it Mark Goodyear? I think it is. Anyway, on um, Sunday, on Saturday, it's on Saturday, isn't it? The first hour was 1970. I thought, oh, that's only just in. I know it's in 70 to 79, but I thought, do I remember any from 70? I weren't sure I would. And as it turned out, I didn't remember many. Now, don't get me wrong. I know songs from the 40s, 50s and 60s. Sinatra, Dean Martin, King Cole. I know all of those. But I got to know them later on in life, the same way with the country and western stuff. Your, your Johnny Cash stuff and all of that. But the first pop song I ever heard... I thought of it 10 or 15 years ago. I thought, I'm sure that's an early one for me. And when I heard when it came out over the weekend, um, I thought, that's the first pop song I ever heard. And I liked it at the time. I liked it. But it didn't get me the way the song that I mentioned at the start did. The one that made me love music and realise there's something about music that I like. Now, the one that got me into music, I'll tell you now, I've said it before, but you wouldn't have been here before, folks. It was like, oh. 16 months ago when the channel first started the one that got me into music was one of the big early Slade hits it was called Cause I Love You I just absolutely adored Cause I Love You I thought it was brilliant it was really different than anything I'd heard previously and it's still probably different than anything I've heard since is the violins at the start and whatever else I know it's all very slow and it builds up it's just, it's just a totally different song I loved it and from there I got into music so because of Slade I'm a music lover but the song that I remember that turns out came a year before that in 1970, I'm pretty sure, because I Love You was 71, I'm pretty sure it was. I may be wrong, I've not checked. Could be 72, 73, it's no, no later than 73 I don't think, but I've got in my head it was 71. But I heard uh, a song on uh, Pick of the Pops on Saturday from 1970. Now they did the rundown from 20 through to, to number one. And I'd heard probably of the 20 about five or six songs. I only knew two or three of them really well, so I obviously didn't know much from the 70s. Um, but the song that was number one, turns out it had been number one, I think he said, for six weeks. I think he said, I might be wrong about that. But it's actually sold six million copies. It's a hell of a lot for a single, and I mean a hell of a lot. It was Mungo Jerry in the summertime. And I'm sure you remember that. I do. I've always remembered it. I've always known it. But I didn't realise it came before all the rest. So... The first pop song I ever really, really remember that I took to was Mungo Jerry in the summertime. The first song of any kind that I absolutely loved and got me into music would be Slade, because I love you. What's the first pop song you remember? And I don't necessarily mean a Sinatra song or a Dean Martin song, but pop song. Is there a pop song that you remember that you always think of when you think of pop music? And what was the song that really got you into music? It must have been one. And I think there's probably one for everybody. As I say... Because I Love You is the one that got me into it. And Mungo was the one I first remember. Don't know why I've told it yet, but I just thought I would.